Um, Rory, it's lovely to see you today. Very sure. exciting news that you're going to be taking part in the Windsor Master Triathlon. Um, obviously, everyone knows you as a former international, England's highest try scorer still to this day. Are you still keeping fit? 12, Trying to. 12 years on from Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm very fortunate I don't drink, so I don't have to worry about beer and wine, which tends to be the biggest uh, sportsman's or sports person's uh, after they start, because it just brings the calories on. Um, uh, and it's down to vanity, I try and go running because I just try to stay, stay the weight up. Um, so yeah, I go off and do, uh, I just run mainly, get out and do some running. I've got a bit of a techno gym, um, uh, multi gym type thing at home, so I try and mix that and, and do stuff. But generally it's uh, get out and run and just burn the calories. And just tell us how sort of going out for a run and burning a few calories has turned into to taking part in the London Um Going out to run is pretty down to vanity. I just get out of there, fitness as well. I'm 45 and begin a stage where make sure you keep fit and look after your ticker and that sort of stuff. Um, but it sometimes feels a bit of a, a chore and um, trying to get out and do it. There seems no target apart from yourself sort of thing. Which, when you're not playing sport and having something to aim for, sometimes is very difficult for those who used to be competitive, for yourself. Um, so actually, something like that being a goal in eight months' time, to go and run in the triathlon, knowing that I can't just turn up and, well, I could, but it would be very painful, um, means that actually it's given me some sort of goal to aim for and plan out and do something. So I know that I'm going to go out and train. It's for a reason. And if I don't go out and train, it will um, come back and bite me later on. So in some ways it's great that I've got something to look forward to and actually do something that is uh, a different sport because I've not really done anything hugely competitive in, in the context of sport since I finished playing rugby. So I'm going to take part in a national sport and have a, have a go at it. And you're going right in at the deep end, you're going to the Olympic distance, um, which as we know is a 1500 meter swim, 40k bike and 10k run. Yeah. You're not doing any of the witty sprint stuff, straight into the deep end. Yeah, um, I thought, yes, I'll go for that. I mean, um, I normally run uh, about an hour, which takes me about six miles. So that's the six miles, the 10 k's, is, I, I can do that. The bike, um, it doesn't hold any fears for me, apart from getting used to it and, and riding and stuff. Uh, the swim is the one that I've got to make sure that I do. I've not, I've not swum that distance for a long time. Uh, if I try to do it on a holiday and do a few lengths, and I've done about 10 lengths in a funny shape, kidney pool, and I'm breathing heavily. So that's one area I know I've got to do a bit of work in. And you've got a bit of an expert on hand. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my mucker uh, Mark Foster. Now, whether he's any good, because obviously he's only good over 25 metres. <laughs> but um, now I'm going to give him a, a shout and see if he can come down and give me a few pointers with regards to um, making sure I use the right stroke and making sure I fend off everybody else that's going to try and beat me and swim over the top of me, as I understand. So yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. You know, but it, it's a, how do you combine rugby and swimming? It's probably a triathlon race, isn't it? Because you just open water. So you're going to be very well prepared, I think, for the start. <laughs> 300 people. So I've got to find, find my gum shield yeah. and my, my um, um, cricket box, yeah. So, um, yes, that, that, is, that is the one area that I'm going to make sure I do training in. And yes, you know, I can say individually, but I recognise that, you know, it's putting three of them together. So yes, I can do six miles, but after you've done a, a swim and a bike ride, it's not quite the same. Um, so in the training, I've, I've got to make sure I do the three disciplines. Um, and get my head around that, um, pacing myself. That's the difficult one. I've never done it before. And have you seen, have you watched triathlon? Yeah, 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 I watched it. No, I, um, I've seen Tim Don before that. Uh, you have to cut this bit out. Um, he was in the Olympics in Sydney, but failed. Was, the lesson. Yes. I mean, I saw a couple of him in the, the Iron Man and various things, and, oh, you know, impressive. Um, and obviously, sadly, just failed to do it in the Olympics. Um, so, no, I, I love watching that sort of stuff. Um, I'm watching the Ironman. It's quite crazy. Mm. But you never know where Olympic distance might lead to, because we could see you do Well, no, Ironman. because there's a marathon at the end of it. There's no chance in a million years. That's what they all say. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not that mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must be, because if you played rugby, you'd be a little bit mad. Yeah, no, you could argue that, yeah. And it's very difficult, because, you know, for those of you that have taken part in triathlons and done the Ironman, then it's, you've done it, it's, that's your part of life, you just get used to it. For me, playing rugby and sticking my head into the stupid places and being jumped on, most people think that's bloody stupid, but you know, it's, it's what I've grown up with since I was you know, 11, 12 when I started playing rugby, and that's just the norm. Um, so we'll see, you know, once I do the three events on the shop, and we'll see what's like. I mean, you know, cracky, it's bad enough thing we're doing in a pool, never mind in open water. Yeah. So that's a, a new experience. Yeah. So you've got lots of training plan. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Um, and any, any thoughts on doing sort of a, you know, a, pre, a warm up race before, before London or are you going to just basically train and then focus on doing 
London. To be honest with you, having thought about it, I think that will be a good idea and probably do a sprint somewhere because, um, I mean, literally, I got, I got asked before Christmas, over Christmas, having stuffed myself with every single turkey I could possibly get my hands on and trying to get out and do some running to make sure I offset the, um, it's not my carbon emissions, it's my, it's my calorie emissions I'm, I'm trying to offset with my running while I was doing Christmas. Um, and it was really during that period and then after Christmas that I thought, no, I'm going to do it. And I um, uh, told all the organisers, and hence today here, I'm not really having a chance now. Having a chance to chat to you today has meant that I've been able to get a few um, pointers and tips, but uh, I'll take that one. Obviously, that's a good idea. Good, good, good. And, and this is like a personal challenge, I guess. And have you got any idea of time? You know, no, just no, no whatsoever. I mean, I've, I know I do about roughly an hour for six miles, 10, 10k, whatever, so roughly. Um, I've no idea with the bike at all, and the swim, again, I've no idea. So, again, individually, I've no idea my time, and obviously, then you've got to take the factor of doing them three in a row, so I don't have an idea. I mean, what's, what's the world record for Olympic? I read about 146-ish. Might be wrong on there, but it's definitely sub 150. No, oh, there's no way. No way to do that anywhere near that. Obviously. <laughs> so, what's, I mean, roughly, what's the split, so, you know, what was his split for the um, swim, bike, and... We're looking around about 18 minutes, um, 50 something for the bike, and about 31 for the 30, 31 minutes for 10k. Okay, so. So you're going to be close. If, aren't I, you? if I factor about a double, yeah, if I factor a double of that, we're looking around, um, you know, about three hours. Yeah, about three hours. Yeah. But anyway, it's very exciting. So it's going to be exciting to watch. It's in the moment. When I get into the, the nitty gritty of training, then we'll see. But yeah. Yeah, so we'll look forward to, to all this and catching up with you. Then. No, hopefully we can catch up, and I'll let you know yeah. I'm getting on. Definitely. And uh, you keep, keep giving me the tips and motivating me, I'll be looking forward to it. We'll make sure we do. Thank you. Thank you.